Oh, it's baby time. It's really good, Mommy. Not for little girl? Uh -uh. No. That's for goats. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be setting up the birth and pens getting ready for kitty kitten season here. So, I hope you enjoy our video. <laughs> in a week off from kidding so we're gonna go ahead and build some kidding pens we're just gonna make them out of candle panels they're 40 inches tall and they're very easy to get the shade that we're trying to do we're gonna build two pens they're gonna be about four foot by five foot or four foot by six foot depending on i haven't measured our outside distance yet but it's gonna go to just this side of this door probably actually right between these two two by sixes we're gonna put this one going out and then the other one is gonna be we're just gonna use the wall and we're just going to have the divider in the middle. We're going to have the two doors for the two kidding pens. And inside each one, we're going to have a heater. Just in case it gets real cold at night here in central New York. So we don't want to worry about kids getting overly cold. There's a lot of ways to cut the candle panels. I've used an angle grinder, which works very well. It just takes forever. My personal preference when I'm touching doing a quick job like this, I was trying to get it done. I'm not really without having being perfectly cut. I can put the cut on up against the wood, so I haven't got to worry about animals getting it in their eyes or anything of that nature. Just, I like using bolt cutters. It's real quick and real easy. You just open them up, put it right where you want to cut, and squeeze. And it literally comes right apart. Excuse me, Lily. Really? See what we did there? Now we can overlap it. So guys, what I just put down was some crust limestone. What it, I always call it barn snow. So that's what I, like, they called it on the dairy farm where I grew up. What it does is it just helps decrease the slipperiness of the concrete. So we're going to be having pregnant goats in here and we don't want them slipping. And my grandfather always told me that it helps with the bacteria count. I don't know if it's true, but it's what I was always told. Really? You want to sprinkle this out for me? Sprinkle it with your... There you go. Oh, that good job. Five. Go. Love you. Thank you. So guys, when you're working these candle panels, 
a quick and easy fix. Just hold them together to get a basic idea. Zip ties or cable ties, whatever you call them in your area. I love them. They make really quick work of holding this up together. I've got two on it, and as you can see, my corner piece is standing up already. guys so you know how we previously said that we were unsure about our one doe onyx if she was bred or not um so today she was acting like she was in heat so what we're gonna do is just let the boys in and we're gonna tie up nestor and reggie over here in our our wall just to make sure that they don't get her because we want her bred to griffin and we're just gonna see what they do So guys, inside of our kidding pens, we put real straw. The rest of the year, we use chopped up hay for the most part, but obviously straw is better because it has more of an absorbency or a more absorbent capability than regular hay does. And when you're dealing with new life on the farm, you're better off keeping as dry as you can, especially in a cold environment. So we're just gonna pick, we bought this at Tractor Supply because straw is not overly popular in this area. Not a lot of people grow it. But uh, it will definitely help to keep the babies warm, especially the first couple days of life.
what we're gonna do is put this little hay feeder that here that we built in between the two pens. So what I'm doing right now is just cutting out the little slats in the cattle panel so we can fit the hay feeder in there. These panels, I promise you guys, are not that hard to cut. It's just I'm at a really awkward angle. If you would have planned this part out beforehand, I would have cut them out before you put it in. All right guys, so notice I took this wall back out of the pen and turned it sideways in order to staple it, staple it to our two by six here. This is, why, this is why I love working with candle panels is because I can hold this up across the wall and staple it all the way down through and not have to fight the next connection on the fence. So I can turn it. Staples hopefully straighter than that one just went out. Reggie, you're standing right in the way, buddy. five gallon barrel the top cut out I put a piece of wood across the top and I screw it right into the hard plastic and I also put screws into the studs on the walls I got one over here and one over here and that keeps it so if anything jumps on it it's not gonna budge at all that way I haven't gonna worry about ghost knocking this loose or fucking fire now on top I put a screw and some washers on each side of this clamp and I zip tie the clamps together that's just to assure that kids jumping around in there or the mother tries to get in there that this is not going to come loose and start a barn fire. Mm -hmm. 